on the other side on high command. All traitors will die. Truth or consequences. This Zygon idea I've had for ages. In fact, I had it before I wrote Day of the Doctrine. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do with the Zygons. I used uh, the 50th a little bit, a tiny, I hope, unobtrusive way to set up the situation I wanted for the beginning of our, our big blockbusting Zygon two-parter. <laughs> Great, because the 50th anniversary, we got to see the Zygons again, but obviously with three Doctors and a whole whopper of a plot, we didn't really get to explore them as much as we would have liked, so it's been great to have the opportunity to go back to that story and see what happens after the ceasefire as well. It feels quite different for Doctor Who. I love the Zygons. Wherever I go, they go. Wherever they go, I go. We're linked now, inextricably. Well, I say I love them. They're ge genuinely terrifying. I find them absolutely horrific. They snarl and there's the juice that comes out of their mouths, and little teeth, jagged teeth. So I think they're brilliant monsters. I think that the Zygons in their latest incarnation have mutated uh, a little farther away from the original concept in that they're now not just shapeshifters. They're able to transform themselves into the appearances of loved ones. So they have now an ability to read the minds uh, of their potential victims, which makes them very difficult to kill. And they've ratcheted up a level in the, the difficulty in dealing with. <laughs> All monsters are difficult to deal with, otherwise they wouldn't be monsters. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.